Okay, today folks we're going to talk about a UV light installation. A UV light kills micro living organisms, okay? A UV light is, is very good in trying to control influenza, cold germs, any kind of living microorganisms. That's what you've got to understand. So we're going to talk about that. The first thing you need to do is uh, install the UV light properly. You gotta figure out your voltage. In this case, we have 240 volts. We've already did a line set test. Always shut your power off. Here's our disconnected means over here in this electrical panel box. Safety is the first most uh, concern that we have to be dealt with. Now, because we have a 240 volt system, white is the common, and orange is your 240. So here's my white wire, is my common. Here's my orange wire. So that's what I'm going to hook up to the high voltage. I'm going to take the other two leads, the black and the red. We're going to wire nut them off separately and just put them over to the side. Because if you don't, they still have power on them and they can cause a uh, breaker to trip or cause you to get shocked. Here's the low voltage side of the transformer. We'll talk about how to hook that up in just a couple of minutes. Okay, we've mounted the transformer now. Low voltage. High voltage. Since this is 240, does it really matter what wire goes to what? I usually like to just do the white ones with the white because it's the common. And then the orange with the other colors. One of the things you want to do, you always want to torque it down and you want to tug on your wire. See, I'm tugging, that wire is in very securely. It's very important that that's very tight because electricity vibrates and can cause a short. Okay, good. Okay, now what we're doing, folks, we're going to go ahead and mount the power supply. I just want to point out that the power supply has to be in a suitable location inside the control panel of the air handler using two self-tapping screws, and they're included, as the thing says. Okay, so what we've done... We have mounted the power supply here. This is a, this is a control panel. Breaker, all your low voltage wiring, transformers, heat sequencers, control panel. When you go to mount your power supply in, this is plastic, okay? So you don't want to over tighten it and crack it. So here is, we've taken the liberty, we've been ahead and strapped everything up nice and neat. Here's the low voltage wires off the transformer. The whole thing we're trying to accomplish here, folks, is a separately derived power system. When you don't have a separately derived power system for these UV lights, what happens is strains the existing transformer for the system, which is over here, and it causes problems with the condenser coming on or the heat pump. So it's very important. If you have a service tech or if you have a a homeowner that wants to do anything less than a separate derived transformer, you are asking for problems, okay? Twist your wires, make sure they're long enough. Turn the wire nuts on very tightly. Always do the pull test, okay? Make sure it's in. All right, and that's that part of the low voltage part of the transformer. Okay, what we've done here now, we've mounted our transformers. Our, in our control panels. This is the low voltage wire that feeds in to the UV light. Now we're going to point out a couple things here. This UV light first off is 14 inches. Do not touch the bulb because the, the moisture on your hand and the oils on your hand can shorten the life of the bulb. So this bulb is guaranteed for around 9,000 hours. Another thing I want to point out about the UV lights, the way it's all wired, these things are on 24-7. They're on continually to kill the bacteria and the germs on the coils. Okay, 
So what we do here, I want to show you this right here. We're going to mount this one on the bracket because this particular bulb will fit inside of the A coil. So all we've done here, we've just basically taken the UV light, mounted it to the magnet, and put it in. But let's say you get an A coil, and let's say you buy a 16 inch bulb, and your A coil, the bulb sticks out past the A coil. You can take this off, and it comes with two screws that you actually can just mount. Let's take away the magnet. You can actually mount the UV light to the back of the A coil. See back in here how you got a metal housing back in here? The biggest thing to remember is do not crack this housing because then not only do you more or less ruin the bulb, but you broke the integrity of the weatherproof vapor inside. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set this in the back. Very carefully, I'm going to plug it in. Okay, now what we've done here, we've actually mounted the UV light. See how it's mounted back in here? And it's behind my coil. Okay, the next most important thing is to put this shield back on. It always fits right here. Okay, now we went ahead and put the aluminum panel back on. This hole is so purpose is to be able to see the UV light shine because in these doors you want to put a sight glass. So you just take your sight glass. We've actually used a unibit to drill the hole. That's the unibit. Perfect diameter. Let's take that and snap it in. Okay, and you want to always look on the back side. Make sure you've got clear sight, no insulation around the door. You'll be able to put that in. Okay, I just want to show you the lights on. You see the blue tin inside? Okay, and that's the whole purpose for drilling this hole, for putting the UV light inside the coil. So 24-7, it's cooking this coil, killing micro-living organisms, bacteria, mold, anything. Okay, here's the sight glass. The sight glass will center right up on the hole. Okay, I want you to look in here, folks, and really look at the UV light. Now, this sight glass is for the purpose of the technician and the homeowner to look inside his air handler at any given time to notice that we have a UV light and the bulb is operable. Should work for at least two years. So that's the whole purpose for drilling these holes in these things. I want you to see that. Okay, we put the second one on. We actually had two air handlers side by side. So we added the second UV bulb right here for this customer. And I just wanted to point out the slanted coil. On the first one here was an A coil. This here was a slanted coil. And you always just want to get your UV lights as close to the coil. So as this returner comes up, it's going to go by the UV light and go through. It kills all the micro-living organisms. If you have any questions or any problems with anything, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning. 239-596-5855 or jonesairconditioning.com. Thank you.